hey, it's me, Olive, your sassy seamstress, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought we'd do something a little different and maybe not do makeup. I know, bummer, right? If you wanna see a makeup look, like, I have tons of videos on my channel. You can check out one of those. I'll leave one linked. But today, I thought, why not take my namesake and actually be a lean, green, mean dream queen and, you know, do something green. I'm gonna be like the AOC of drag. You know what I mean? You don't? That she's gonna reduce, reuse, and recycle. And by that, I mean, I'm taking an old gown that I had and repurposing it. So, if you wanna see what that looks like, then keep on watching. But before we get into this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you check out all my other socials at The Olive Cox for more drag fun. All right, so I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go try the dress on. I'll show you what it looks like on my body currently, because you know, girl, this pandemic has not been kind to anyone. I'll be back. So this is what it looks like currently. The gown that I'm going to be repurposing and transforming it into a new outfit. Um, as you can see, it's like super like tight fitting, fits the body like a glove. So hopefully I can have the same effect when I work on it. And you know, hopefully this beading doesn't get in the way, but you know, we'll see. A little trial and error. Oh, look how good my butt looks in this. She's a cute dress and everything, but I thought probably not going to wear her that often as a gown. She's not that girl anymore. She's evolved or devolved on, depending on how you look at it. I think the last time I wore this gown was for coronation. I can post a picture. Oh. Should I wear the same hair that I wore for that picture for this actual like reveal? I'm like Moira Rose's sexy sister. I'm like so excited to like transform it. All right, so let's start doing it. To start off, make sure you have a clear workstation and then get ready to mess it up. Sewing and everything is ridiculous, girl. And the items you'll need for this are pens, scissors, a sewing machine and thread, duh, and tons of patience. All right, I'm gonna set the gown on the floor. When I had it on my body, I placed some safety pens to mark where I was going to make alterations. And don't worry about that. I'll use a Sharpie to color that in later. Now I'm gonna cut this back panel out of this dress. We won't need it to make the cat suit. Let's start cutting. And I decided to cut out this extra panel in the gown. I might be able to use that later for something else. She's a thrifty queen. All right, so now I'm turning the gown inside out because that's the easiest way to work with the garment, especially because this garment is beaded. And listen, those are gonna be a bitch to deal with later. Now that I have everything cut out, I can start pinning where I'm going to start hemming the catsuit. And I'm using a chaps as a guide for the catsuit for the legs. And if you wanna see how I've made chaps before, I have a video on my channel. And when you use the chaps as a guide, you wanna pin around the chaps and make sure there's some extra room for some seam allowance. Repeat for the other leg. Okay, come on, crafty queen. Make sure you cut around the pens, leaving some extra room. Oh. Right now I'm threading the sewing machine. And to do that, I'm just turning the dial, making sure the top and bottom threads connect. Sew along the pens and remove them before putting them through the sewing machine. You don't wanna sew the pens and, you know, have the needles touch. And that would be a disaster. I decided to sew it into a cat suit because I figured I'd get more use out of it. A cat suit's way more performance friendly than a gown is, especially a gown like this. Sewing became a little difficult around the beadwork. Make sure you take it easy, take a hit, and take your time. Move the beads around the needle so it doesn't break it. Because listen, if that happens, it'll like mess up the timer and then you have to take the whole thing apart. It's a whole thing. Send help. And now I'm just hemming the bottom of the pant leg. And 
and make sure you repeat it for the other side. And this is the completed garment, y'all. This fall for me sexy seductress tutorial is all finished. I feel like I look so good. Right, bitch? Like, oh, she's giving it to you. It's so cute. Oh, so fun. Listen, she's like Maleficent if she had a baby with like, I don't know, just she had a baby, girl. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, and then like, girl, this cat suit. Come on. Uh, and this hair, like, I decided to, like, pair this look with, like, the dark hair because, like, listen, she's, like, giving you, like, a raven, bitch. Like, dark, sultry, seductress. She's, like, evil queen. Oh, I think the last time I wore this was, like, for coronation. Oh, remember that? That was, like, the last actual, like, big event we went to. I think so. Miss Pandemica wanted to come and shit on everything. She do be shitting on everything. She do be shitting all over the place. This is like almost giving you like black swan, bitch. Like a velociraptor. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you check out all my other socials at the Olive Cox for more drag fun. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Mine. Yeah. Cool. Mine.